Hi everyone, in this video I'll teach you how you can quickly adjust the zoom window to fit any function and it's a little tip to avoid uh, fiddling with the zoom settings. If you're new here, my name is Olivier and I'm a certified math and physics teacher in Ontario who is currently doing a master's in statistics at Carleton University. Okay, so let's start with a blank Desmos page. I'll just copy paste the problem I had. I didn't copy paste it as a note, so I just put a quotation mark, copy paste it as a note. And this will be a motivating, motivating example for what we're trying to do here. And you'll see why it's useful to have my little trick. And you can skip the time timestamps are in the description below, so you can skip to the actual trick. But I, this will make more sense if you watch the whole thing. But again, you're you're in control here. So the problem is, imagine you're in kindergarten, you're about four years old, your parents or someone in your family invest $10,000 for you. I wrote a thousand, but I'll add an extra zero. And they it's at 5% interest and they let it grow for 65 years. So it's kind of like a life insurance in case you die, it pays for the funeral. But at the same time, at, by the end of your life, it would have grown by a significant amount. So the, sometimes the family members do that type of thing. So 5% compounded annually. So we need the compound interest formula. It's the uh, final amount is equal to the principal, sometimes uh, denoted by capital P, and then uh, times one plus R, where R is the interest rate and it compounds exponentially. So it's uh, to the T, right? So to the T and I can just add all the sliders for the principal. So the principal has to be at least one. So I'll just change that or I guess it could be zero, but I'll put one. And in this case, it's 10,000. So four zeros. And then already you see that our function isn't in our window. The interest interest rate has to be between zero and one. It's a percentage. And then in our case, it's 0 0.05, right? So this is our function. And let's say the question is how much money you'll have after 60 years. All you can do is evaluate this thing at 60 years and you get $186,791.85, technically 86 cents. That extra penny is going to make a big difference. Okay. So, uh, like that's a lot of money and that's why people do it. And cause it's kind of like set it and forget it, but that's beside the point. Here we have a compound interest and let's say we wanted to visualize this thing. We could play around like here. I'm just um, going back on my mouse and you see that this is really ugly. I'm starting to see the line. And first of all, what I can do is I can define this when T is greater than zero, right? Cause time uh, can't be negative, especially with, when it comes to money and that kind of stuff, it, it just defines it. And I could do this, but then I could manually adjust the, the zoom setting. So let's, uh, let's try to do this here. So time will go, uh, let's say between negative one year and, uh, 70 years. That's already a lot better. And then I need to fix my Y axis. So let's say zero or minus 1000 to, uh, it's 186, right? So let's say 200,000. And that's pretty good. I can remove the grid or maybe remove the minor lines, add some arrows, label my axes. So it would be time in years, uh, time in years. And the Y axis would be uh, final, like um, our money, right? Money in dollars, dollars. So that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I can do minus 10,000. So that the axis looks a little bit better and maybe minus uh, four. I, that, that looks pretty good. That looks a lot better than before. Right. And then you can do all types of things like, uh, for example, the slider T naught. So we'll create a slider for time. Let's start it at one and let's put it between zero and, uh, 65 years. And then it will go in steps of one, but we don't, we don't need to do that. And then what we can do is just create a point that moves. So it'll be from uh, the X axis is T. So T comma, and then the Y component is going to be a of T or sorry, not T, T naught. Right. And then a of T naught. 
And then you see we have a point, let's put it in red. And uh, maybe what we can do is call this a naught, which is equal to a of t naught. So that's the y value. So instead of this, we can just put a naught and then that way we can label it uh, with the dollar sign, I'll link a card. So that way it's that's a dynamic label, right? So a naught like this. And then you see that if we click play on the time here, it's a little fast, but you see the amount of money. So maybe we can change the time here at the speed. So half that and then let's put a dollar sign behind it, beside it, right? So it would be something like this. And we want it to go only forward. So like this. That's pretty cool, right? That's, that's nice and we have a zoom. So now let's move on to the second part of the video where we actually talk about the, uh, how to do it. So to reset the zoom, the zoom you can just uh, click the home here, the default zoom and you see that we lose everything we've just done. So now let's move on to the tip. So I'll create a folder. So uh, I just, I can do the plus sign and click folder, or I found out recently that you can just type folder and then let's call this the little trick. And I'll put the link to the Desmos file in the description so you'll have access to that. So what we can do is, this is a trick. You click the gear and then this, you create a table, right? So the table, yeah, I'll put it in the trick. And now that you have a table, you have a zoom fit. So you see how this fits the zoom. So we want 70, right? So then uh, like we want 60, I think, right? So then we just do this and ta-da, we have a zoom fit. We can play around with this if we want, but right off the bat, we don't need to do all the settings that which takes time and even finding the functions is tough, but doing this is a lot faster, right? So I could have got rid of the first two rows and it would have been pretty good. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions or thoughts in the comments below. I'd appreciate that. That's the best way to support the channel. Like the video, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel. And again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time in another episode of Do The Work. Thank you.